And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some The Abyss Control. Y'all know that I really enjoy playing Howling Abyss decks with Braum and Trundle. We're going to try out a new version. We've been playing Demacia and Sharima with it. We're going to try out Targon with the Howling Abyss and just calling this the, the Abyss Control instead of calling it Trundle Braum yet again. Um, so the, the thing with this version is we're going to have um, our defensive cards in Targon that can um, you know help us get to the late game, help us survive, give us Nexus healing, you know the Fangs, Star Shaping, you know Solar Priestess with the Invoke, like those kind of cards to go along with it. But we're playing three Howling Abyss in this list. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't really have any card draw in here. I'm not playing um, anything that really draws a card. Like we could have like Pale Cascade, Guiding Touch, uh, Averroes and Sentry, that kind of stuff, which maybe I should have. But kind of going away from those and, and especially in wanting Troll Chant and Troll Gifts instead because of how good Troll Gifts is with Braum and just how powerful Troll Chant is as well. But not having anything that really draws cards. And so since we don't have that, I want the full three copies of the Howling Abyss um, because I want to be able to have them. Uh, want to have this every single game. I wanted to play Sentry, but I really wanted both of these two drops. I feel like Blue Sentinel could help us get to... Uh, the Howling Abyss a little faster and everything like that. I felt like that was going to be really good. And Mountain Goat, um, while Ma Mountain Goat also dies to Avalanche like Averroes and Sentry, the gems are really useful, especially with Braum. And so I thought like gems with Braum could be really good. And, and you know, Mountain Goat's just a good quality spell. And so I ended up with Trundle. Um, thought about going like, you know, any other champion. Thought about going like Zoe or something else. But, you know, like Zoe with Avalanche doesn't really work that well. Um, these top end cards are, are like at the same spot of like Howling Abyss. I didn't really want them. And so I ended up, just ended up with Trundle. Um, thought about just playing Lissandra as just like a, a blocker on <laughs> on turn three. Just like, you know, good a good blocker. Which maybe that's the thing to do. But of course, um, playing Trundle allows us to play Troll Gifts because without, without Trundle, we're probably not Troll Gifts. But I think this deck should be a lot of fun. And, you know, we have like some good Targon Invoke stuff. But then hopefully we just get a lot of Howling Abyss games. That's my plan. Um, so let's let's see how it does. All right, let's just go and get to it. We're probably going to be playing some longer games. But let's see how we do with the Howling Abyss. Wait, first. Turn on Prismatics. There we go. So we have a Prismatic Howling Abyss. So we want to make all of our level 2 champions Prismatic that they create. Yeah, that's that's an option. Could have gone to Howling Abyss with one of the draw a landmark card, destroy or draw a landmark card. But then you gotta like spend three mana to get a Howling Abyss. And I feel like you just might as well just there's not that many landmarks to destroy. Really just the one from Aurelia Azir. Okay, well, as y'all know, if you watch me play any I'll keep that. If you watch me play against any kind of Targon decks with Targon. The worst thing to see when you play a Targon control deck, the worst card to see is Aurelian Soul. Hopefully my opponent never plays an Aurelian Soul. That is certainly the worst card for us to see. We're going to be looking for the 6 mana Obliterate with the Priestess. But still, we got to get rid of the Spell Shield with like a Troll Chant first. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Ready weapons! All right, so unfortunately they have a dragon in hand. We know they have a dragon. The Traveler wouldn't necessarily be bad either, but I'm just going to take the Falling Comet. Wow. So this has to be Screeching Dragon right here, right? You would think. You'd think this is Screeching Dragon. But of course they could have Eclipse Dragon or Rillian Soul. That could have been the dragon they had. Yep, they're Screeching.
double screeching. I kind of feel like Fallen Comet's worth it. No. I see the challenge the 3 3 and the 3 2. Oh, the 1 2. Play Howling Abyss this round. Cool. I don't want them to, you know, play like a bunch of fight spells that I have to protect Braum. That was the third Talia Malphi list that we played, yeah. Okay. Cleaned up a Zoe. Not bad. All right, Howling Abyss in play. Let's go. Fiora. Fiora could take down a Screeching Dragon. Level two, two champions every single round is pretty sweet. Hey, Atrios. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We are playing some Howling Abyss. Seeing if we can take down some dragons. These dragons are pretty furious, though. If I do say so myself. King of Trolls coming through. Just hoping they never have a really soul. As long as they don't have a really soul, we can we should be able to grind out everything else. Shining gifts from the sky. How many really soul do y'all think they play when they play you know I assume it's three Shivana. What do y'all think? Is it one Zoe two soul? Or is it two Zoe one soul? So seven mana, I have six left. Yeah, that's alright. Two worlds. See, look who turns into a Fiora Shen deck. Yeah, we're, we're suddenly Fiora Shen. I remember, like, one of the other times we played this, like, the last video we played Howling Abyss, we turned into a Soraka Tom Kench deck. We got both of those two champions. Yeah, I think that, I think Fiora Shen, I think that's underrated right now. Well, like, people aren't really playing Aurelia Azir anymore, which is weird. But I think that Fiora Shen could be pretty decent against Aurelia Azir. We played Lulu Fiora the other day, and Lulu Fiora was awesome, especially against Aurelia Azir. The Lulu healing the Fiora was better than even just getting a barrier. Because then your your two health Fiora could block a 1-1, one, one, stay alive, and then get healed by, by Lulu. That's an early Living Legends. That's an early Living Legends. That's why they're looking for Supernova. Well, I guess that Champagne Supernova is going to uh, get rid of some stuff. By my honor, you must die. So I guess they have Moon Silver. Why didn't I play Ice Pillar first? I think I forgot about the Ice Pillar in my hand while we were talking. Should have played that before the Shen. I really get rid of the 6-2 or the 5-3? I guess the 6-2. Yeah, we are in the Oasis. Alright, so it makes sense to... 
casting a little oasis while we're in the oasis. Hmm, should have let them get, keep the six too. I'm not sure if this flash freeze is really worth it. Maybe I just let Braum die. Nah, it's gotta be worth it, right? Power. Yeah, we're not gonna be winning with Fiora, so I just wanna trade Fiora away. As far as Aurelian Soul goes, I have Crescent Strike plus Fallen Comet still. Or, I guess, Avalanche. Avalanche Fallen Comet's the best. Oh, come on. Alright. Is Yasuo a playable card right now? Maybe. See, this is why we play three Howling Abyss. Y'all were saying that three was too many. Oh, we need three. Oh, everything has fearsome. You're in troll lands now. It's good to be the king. Yeah, I don't know. Yasuo, it's Yasuo is playable, but not not like top tier. Probably playable. Be nice drawing an ice shard or another avalanche. Got all these things down to one health. Fire and fury burn in me. Um. King of trolls coming through. Ice shard. Hey, there's Yasuo. Yasuo Crescent Strike. That's good deck building. My fury. I'm kind of dead, actually, aren't I? I guess I'm kind of dead. Okay, they didn't kill me. They probably have Sharp Sight and could have killed me. They didn't do it. And I need it. Alright. Uh, we just need to play Solar Priestess first. Daylight Golden Sister. So I was scared with going with Yasuo Crescent Strike for Fight Spell. Man, Lux, you're good too. Tavern Keeper, you're good too. I have a lot of options. What once was two, now is one. Oh, what? Oh, it's only when you play a unit, not summon a unit? I still should. Uh, I should have led with Ice Pillar. I always forget about that, that Ice Pillar. I mean, I'll just cover up the Ice Pillar anyway. Get ready for a beat down. Follow the wind and watch your back. 
They gotta have fight spells, right? You would think so. I face my fate. Your turn. Yeah, I'll just attack first and see what's up. I probably should not have lost this game. Probably. All right, good job, Yasuo. They were a little greedy there with their fight spells. Okay. Not over yet. We can match them on the board. Fire and fury. That does have some fire and fury. All right, so am I going... I guess I just use this and... They do have a, they they just don't seem like they have a really in soul. I think I'd probably just use that. Yeah, I think this is probably the best. If they have another fight spell here though, I kinda die. You know, they would just have the Shivana fight and then There we go. See, Howling Abyss gets it done. Oops, did I, break something? I wonder if they had that sharp sight when they put me down to two. If they would have just, if they could have killed me. Thresh Nasus. So I got two flash freeze, two hush for Nasus. We gotta stay alive against the early stuff. So we got a goat, a Brom. And then Trundle. So we could, basically, we just gotta hope they don't have too aggressive of a hand, right? If they don't have too aggressive of a hand, I like our chances quite a bit. trade. It's not like the best trade ever for us, but also it's not dying to Blighted Caretaker. It's not the worst trade ever for us either. Okay, this is this has gone about as good as I could hope the first three turns to go. Now we got like the star shapings to stay alive also. Double hush for Nasus. This has gone very well so far. The trolls are going to war. Let's go, our friends. Show me your best. Not the best play against Blackspear if they want to like throw Prey in and then Blackspear and kill Braum. But besides that, it's a good play against everything else. I could have just challenged the, the Reaper and that would have been safer. Ugh. I didn't think they would actually do that. Cause you know I wanted I wanted you know like we got to get that Brom to level up eventually right like so want to I want to work towards that. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. And take this and hopefully get another Brom. Maybe I should just grab the 5-5. Five five. All 
All right, so I got super, super punished for not just challenging the Reaper and challenging the Thresh instead. Come, come, this way. Super punish for that. Your time and cycle is done. I'm not too worried about leveled up Thresh because I have the hush. This is... No! Not you. Not you. This didn't work out. Oh, man. I really threw this game away with the Braum attack. With how those first three turns went and, like, the cards in my hand, there's no, there's no reason for me to be in this position right now. It's just one of those... One of those things that... Is everything going wrong? No reason for me to be in this position. Do I have to waste my other hush on this 6 2? And then not have another hush for Nasus? Let's see if I, because if I take this, I go down to eight. Because yeah, then then we just we can just die to, uh, just die to atrocity. Even if I star shaping. What was I take three and I go to nine. That was the worst brawn play I may have ever made in my life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you make some poor decisions, and you lose. They have to be staring at atrocity. Like, that's like how they're sitting here waiting. They gotta be staring at atrocity. Spears. Yep. Alright, we gotta hope it takes him a little while to find another Nasus. All these are awesome, awesome choices. Um, Cosmic Inspiration is the only one I can play this round. But they're all very good choices. I 
I'm hoping at 17. We're okay. Right of negation. I'm kind of surprised they're not having their Thresh die so they could play a new leveled up Thresh that would put in a new... new... Nasus. I'm sorry, Braum. Yes. I messed you up before and I apologize. Braum is on the job. Alert the kitchen. We'll need more food. I can't really protect from Blackspear still, though. Can't stop Black Spear no matter why I challenge you. Even if I challenge a 1 1. <sighs> Those words is good. I'd rather have the spells, but of course, the spells do get right in negation. But I'd rather have the spells. I walk through the ages. And that's why I'd rather have the spells. I should not have lost this game at all. Because I, I should still have another hush right now. I, I just threw this game away. Let's talk about your tab. The wheel never Threw this game away unnecessarily. And that's the game right there. Kill me. Okay, well, didn't kill me yet. Not yet, at least. The trolls are going to war. Let's show our friends the door. Doesn't make sense to attack with anything else. Mm. I had hoped that they were just going to atrocity. Nasus had 19 with me at 19 life, and I was going to be able to start shaping, but obviously that wasn't the case. I mean, does he? Yeah, so like, not only just atrocity, just Nasus being this big is GG's. I can't keep up with it. Yeah, we're we're at the normal length. I mean, I guess I haven't lost yet. Everyone's a god. Okay, there we go, finally.
Oh, I guess I only had one challenger, not two. I don't know. Let's yeah. just get out of here. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> if I just play my turn four different. I like I should have I should have definitely won that. I just messed up turn or whenever I attacked with the Brock, I guess it was turn five. I just messed up turn five really bad. That was just there's no reason for that. But I I would have won that if I would have if I would have just played turn five differently. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. New game. Renekton, Sejuani, Sivir. I like it. Yeah, at, at this pace, this is going to be about a two-hour video. <laughs> if we play games at the same pace. Thankfully, we're playing against um, a deck that's a little bit more attacking. This land is ours. Oh no, M. Thor, you just got ruinationed. That'll happen. Howling Abyss, yes. So I play three of this card. Last game, throughout that long game, we didn't find one. First game, we had two. Blocked the vulnerable one? <laughs> well that's pretty awesome. They just said, no, we don't we don't want your Yeah, we don't want your mountain go to have vulnerable, don't worry about it. Thanks, pal. I appreciate you. I am the traveler. Bask in her radiant blessing. Devotion through battle. Troll gives. That's a very good sunburst target. If I do say so myself. So can we take a round off and play the Howling Abyss? Yeah, we do have that star shaping that we can catch up with. Hopefully we're able to stay... All right, looks like we're able to stay stable. Okay. That's how good the Howling Abyss is. You play it, your opponent gives up. Two and one. Lysandra Trundle, no! Oh no, why do why are people playing this deck again? Oh. This deck is the nightmare to just little Braum decks everywhere. And just Howling Abyss is a cool finisher, but combo just your library is gone, your deck is gone, like can't really stop that. Okay, so I have two Hush in the deck, hoping to find Obliterates with the Priestess. Hopefully the Fangs finds Equinox. They're out there. I'll spot them. Look out for Reavers. Alert the villain. Need as many ways to take out the Watcher as we can find. Nothing escapes my way. All right, none of those take out the Watcher. So we're gonna take this thing that could find something else that takes out the Watcher. So at least we have Targon cards, right? Targon cards can be our savior. If we're looking for something to take down the Watcher with. Equinox. 
see who I truly am. I'll do. Good round for my opponent right there. Falling Comet. That will do. That was a really good catalyst of Aeons. And of course, I want the trade right here so that next round we can have 7 mana so I can go Howling Abyss. And just get that started. So I'm very glad that they blocked. So as far as this matchup can go, this has worked out. My hand has been as good as it can be. Basically, we've got an Equinox, we've got a Fallen Comet, we got Howling Abyss on round six. Their hand, of course, has been very good with having the Catalyst of Aeons and drawing extra cards. But my hand has been as good as I could hope for. Teemo is the worst champion, the worst level two champion. Double the Poison Puff Caps in the enemy deck, you say. All right, found another Equinox, very good. Press forward. They look angry. But I can't. Really? I just want to play another Trundle, I guess. Get another Ice Pillar. So I was planning on playing that Troll Chant anyway to um, get it out of my hand. Because, uh, you know, having just too many cards in hand. Troll Chant isn't very important, so I was, I was already planning on playing that. The trolls are going to war. I'm happy to... You know, so I was already going to waste that card, so I'm happy to just trade a Teemo for an Avalanche. When Teemo didn't do anything. Ooh, we could be an Ezreal deck. Yeah, we could be an S real back, right? Okay, so 11 mana. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe I can't play as real. I guess if I play as real, that's fine. We're going to take some damage from this trundle. I'm not going to flash freeze the trundle this round. Oh, but then Spectral Matron. Oh, they have to play Lissandra anyway. They don't just have Watcher in hand. I just kind of assumed that they have Spectral Matron and Watcher in hand, but that's not the case. Okay, so I could flash freeze. Or this is just a good opportunity for the star shaping. But if I star shaping, we're going to have too many cards in hand again. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so we're just going to take this. Get Braum out of our hand. Thanks, M. Thor. Thanks for the donation deck. So it's going to be um, Zillion Nasus Gohard. Cool, cool. I like it. So the Lissandra T Tough Nexus, of course, is a response to the Ezreal. Embrace the cold. Vi stands for Vicious. Howling Abyss being pretty awesome, like always. One shot, all skill. What's so our friends they know? Have you met my shield? Oh, 
Wow. Really using these flash freezes liberally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. I guess it's this. So 12 mana. Hopefully 12 mana is enough to take down Watchers. I mean, I, I can only handle three Watchers. For 12 mana. I should have played the one the Fangs created. Sure. Guess. I guess that's it. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this. They can play the They can play the zero mana watcher, but then that's their last like regular watcher. It's like they don't have like they can't like spectral matron wa that watcher anymore, and it got it out of their hand and everything for like supernova. Now they could just have fading memories, which, oh, I guess, is the copy zero mana also with fading memories? Okay, so maybe I didn't, maybe that's not the right play because of fading memories. But if they, they had fading memories, of wouldn't really be able to handle that anyway. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Trouble coming at ya. be allies. All right, so this puts them down to six. With leveled up Ezreal still in play. I want to play this and just see if we can get a six mana obliterate. We do not get a six mana obliterate. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Shadows. I feel this my sword. Ha! This is fun, yes? So we'll see if they're willing to go down to two. Alright. That should definitely be lethal then if they're willing to go down to two. Because I would have to like supernova, like depending on what they would do, I, was, I need to hold up supernova for this thing. Oh. Okay. That's still lethal, because I have two ways to target the enemies. This should be lethal, right? Because it does two? <laughs> okay. Because if this isn't, I lose. But I think it should, right? Because this is going to do one... Like, none of... Yeah. So this... Okay, good. So because they, they have all this mana and cards, so just like, we, we need to, like, I need to make sure that I could keep the um, Supernova available for that landmark, because that they were going to be able to just open attack with that with that Watcher coming back. So I, I had to keep that nine mana available. <laughs> so. I was a little nervous there on that last one, I just didn't want to mess it up. 
three and one. Because our only loss so far was the one that I messed up. I didn't want to mess it up again. Could really use one of the two mana units. Yay, two mana unit. Thanks, KK. No blocks. Well, Hush and Flash Freeze are both useful in this matchup. I, would, I wouldn't uh, really be expecting this, though. This is just the wrong round for the Sentinel to die. I need to die next round. Give me Howling Abyss next round. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Of course, even though that does give me Howling Abyss next round, I probably have to play all these defensive stuff this round. I'm hoping not. I'm just going to take six. Flash freeze that thing to keep it from leveling up. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Kind of looks like we're dead. Well, Malphite's a big blocker. Snow on my head. Rain on my feet. That's a big blocker. I wish I didn't mulligan the... Like, my my biggest regret this game was mulliganing the Solari Priestess right away. Right, Like, I didn't do anything on, like, round three, round four. Uh, Solari Priestess would have been perfect there to just, you know, get something out. I can ride it. I will go this way. My desert, my rule. Okay. Block there. Scared of a fair fight? Let's talk about your death. Exact zero. Smart. That's smart putting it behind the spell shield. I go to I go to zero. No matter what I hot yeah, I go to zero here. Yeah, and they put it behind the spell shield. I should have I should just not use the troll chant yet. Like I think I probably could have not going anywhere. I don't know. I I did not like that. 
So mulligating the Solari Priestess really backfired that last game. I Or uh, I guess I just need to play Tavern Keeper like on round three, even though I only would have healed my Nexus for one, but I probably just need to get out of my hand. If, so if I would have started with Flash Freeze, I would have Flash Freeze the... Because they had the, the two things with, with Spell Shield. So I'd, I'd have to Flash Freeze the 5-4, block the 2-6, and then just not block the 5-4. And then just block the two Spell Shields and the 3-1. Yeah, that probably would have kept me alive. And then I could have then I could have saved 5 mana for a Troll Chant and Hush. Yeah, because we're only taking 4... Because what, what was my life total? Because if I do that, I only take four damage, and then I could keep both of those available. So then, whenever they do the uh, battle fury, I could go troll chant, then hush, and stay alive. Yeah, because we're at nine. So that was that was the play. So the play was just flash freeze Renekton. Um, still have Malphite block. Have like a you know the two three or three three. Have one of those block the other ruin runner, and then also block the three one. Block all those. Don't block Renekton. Just flash freeze it immediately. And then we're only t just taking the three overwhelm damage from the six one overwhelming the three health unit, and then the one from the omen hawk. Yeah, that was the play. Okay, well, <laughs> um, the deck felt really good. It did, you know. So we went three and two. Both of those losses were ones I made mistakes on. Um, you know, so maybe a five zero if I would have played tighter. Uh, you got to be ready for really long games. That's that's you got to be ready for that. But um, this definitely felt like a good Howling Abyss deck. Um, you know, we continue to just find success with having Trundle Brom, Howling Abyss, Troll Chant, Troll Gifts, and just kind of going our you know going from there. I re I really like the Blue Sentinel. It really did help a lot. Uh, different times that that one extra mana was awesome. So like the two drops that we had here, Blue Sentinel, Mountain Go, were really really good. They really overperformed. Um, I don't I. I like the Fangs more than the 5-4, and the Fangs helped us, like, get, you know, we got that Equinox, it was really important against the Watcher deck, so yeah, I like it more than the 5-4, the 5-4 is just unreliable for a Nexus healing card, the the Solari card, that's unfortunate, I like the Fangs more, even with Avalanche, and I was happy with that. Okay, but that's going to be the Abyss Control. Alright, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always... Feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.